Hi, this is Dan Kirkbride, Instructional Technology Specialist for the Coeur d'Alene School District. Today's iTech tutorial is going to talk about creating rules in Outlook, specifically Outlook 2010. And this is going to help us to manage our inbox so that all of our important emails go to our inbox and other emails are filtered out either to junk or to other subfolders in our mailbox. So first things first, the reasons why we want to create rules, it helps us manage our email our inbox and so that specific messages don't go to our junk email folder because sometimes we have messages go there and we want to make sure they actually come to our inbox and also we want to have our non-urgent non-important emails skip the inbox and go to other folders so that we can keep our inbox for the important messages and that's the key here is making sure that what comes to our inbox are going to be our time sensitive important messages that we need to need to deal with right away So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is take a look at our junk email folder and find emails that we want to not have go to our junk email. So for example, I've got this email from edweb.net. It's from a mailing list that I subscribe to and so it's a message that I actually want to have come to my inbox. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it, go down here to junk, and I'm going to say not junk. It's going to pop up a message and say, do we always want to trust emails from this email address? I'm going to keep that selected because I do. Anytime I get more messages from them, I want them to go to my inbox first. Click OK. Moves it to my inbox. I can go over here. And right there is that email. It's now being sent to my inbox. So one of the things that that does is it adds edweb.net actually technically it'll be info at edweb.net to my safe senders list. Now we don't always have to start with our junk email box to add a domain as a safe sender so one of the things that we can do is add a domain ahead of time to make sure that those emails don't go to our junk email box. In order to add a domain to my safe senders list I'm going to go up to the junk icon in my menu, go to junk email options, and go to my safe senders list. Now in my safe senders list I'll see right there is info at edweb.net. I just added that by marking it not junk. But now I want to add one that isn't in my junk email box. So I'm going to go up here to add and I'm going to add our student domain so that any emails from students go straight to my inbox. So I'll put it at students.cdaschools.org I'll click OK and that's now in there as a safe sender. I'm going to hit apply to make sure that it stays in there and I'll hit OK and that menu will go away and now any email from students will no longer get caught in my junk email. It'll come straight to my inbox. Now the next thing I'd like to do is create rules in my Outlook so that the messages that do come to my inbox do certain things and I keep my inbox just for those important emails. So to create a rule in my inbox I'm going to make sure I have selected the type of email that I want to create a rule for. I'm going to go up here to rules and hit create rule. Now the reason I selected that is because it will start to populate the conditions of the rule with information from that email. So for example I'm going to say any email from edweb.net and what I want it to do is I'm going to have it go to a certain mailbox. Now I don't have a mailbox set up for this email yet so I'm going to click here mailbox. This is the um, this is the, the main section where I want it to go. I'm going to hit new and I'm going to call this my mailing lists. Hit OK. It's now created that inside the mailbox, hit OK. Now I see it's going to move the, that item to the mailing list. I'll click OK. And I want it to run the rule on all the messages in my inbox. I'll hit OK. And it's going to take any messages that were from EdWeb 
and put them over into this mailing lists folder. From now on, when I get an email from EdWeb, it's not going to come to my inbox. It's going to jump straight into that mailing lists folder. Now I'm going to slide down here in my email and do this one more time, but this time I'm going to do it with one that I've got multiple emails from. So I'm going to select this email, go to rules, create rule, and this time I want to run it on emails that have a certain subject line because as I look at these emails they don't all have the same sender so I want any of those emails that come from the GEG Idaho subject line and I want to move that I'm also going to send that to the mailing list folder I'll click OK I'm going to run it on anything that's in there so as I click OK we'll see that all of those messages are going to jump from my inbox over to the, this mailing lists folder. And when I click on it, I see all of those emails have ended up into that folder. So now that we have those rules set up, hopefully that'll help me keep my inbox a little bit more manageable. And all my important emails will come to my inbox and all the emails that I want to get to later will be routed to other subfolders or will be caught by the junk email folder and I won't have to worry about them. And a quick note for those of us that are using our email on a mobile device. When you set up those rules, your email app will only alert you like these numbered alerts here are only going to be alerted for messages that go to your inbox. So any of those messages that go to my subfolders won't show up there. So these two messages that go to my Coeur d'Alene email address, those are the only in my inbox and any of the messages that I have set up to skip my inbox won't show here, won't show on my lock screen or any of my other alerts on my mobile device. So I want to make sure that all of the ones that I have set up to skip my inbox are not important and not ones that I necessarily need to be notified on my mobile device. And as any time, if you have any questions about any of these things, you can uh, send me an email to dkirkbride at cdaschools.org or you can give me a phone call. My extension is 1027. And if you have any other major problems, you can also submit a tech repair to techrepair at cdaschools.org. Thanks. Have a great day.